Okay, onwards we go once again to uh, Z Koopa Brothers Fortress. And with a new, um, yes, we have a new um, video plugin in tow. That would be the uh, 1964 video plugin, which I've tried due to some, as you may have noticed, and I apologize for that, but errors with uh, the, uh, you know, the video production and how it looks, rendering issues. But hopefully that'll be taken care of. So onwards we go and uh oh. oh. Yikes. Setting traps and trying to get me. Can't have that happen. No serious problem. And power shell to eliminate them both in a swift strike of the shell. And we are approaching 80 star points now. And before soon we will be at level 3. Oh, wait a minute. How about I consume this honey syrup and then snatch this thunderbolt here after I run away from you? Oops. That's that. It can't hurt if I just do this again. Alrighty. Hold on. Six star points. Approaching 100 rapidly. Good, some power points, and... No entry allowed, Mario. Here's truly the Cooper Brothers. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I must... Act enter, act or not. And a switch to sit on bridge and gigs. Haha! Let's laugh last night. Last laugh now. And let's tattle upon the Paratroopa. This is a paratrooper. No surprise here. Paratroopas are Koopa Troopas with wings. Max HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1. When you jump on them, you use a power block, their wings fall off and they become normal Koopa Troopas. It's easy to beat them once they're normal Koopa Troopas. Give them another jump attack. They think they're pretty cool because they wear sunglasses, but they are not that tough. I always wondered why they were wearing these sunglasses. Anyway, I really did. And I'll get you out of the sky and the head bonk as well. Or two head bonks, anyway. And this shouldn't be too hard now. I just left the flounder. And you're gone. You're back on your feet, but now you are not. One left to go. I like the way this bridge is. I like the uh, the red and green against the brown. I think it looks nice. Cool, 88 star points, 88 coins. Oh, not anymore. And you want coins. Nothing in those boxes, so go farther east and. Oh! Uh oh. Alrighty, let's, let's go. Hmm. Maybe we should. Yeah, let's get uh, Cooper out before I take a lot of damage from these uh, spike goombas here. And that takes care of them. Now we just have this, uh... Let's try some hammer. And he's out too. 94 star points, only 6 to go, and soon... I will be... Wait, can I hit this tree? Yes I can, and I can get star pieces, hooray! That looks like it missed, but... Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Uh... Do 
I want to use... I didn't want to use my Thunderbolt, but Power Box seems like a good idea about now. It'll take care of those two Goombas and knock them on their back, so... Here we go. And now I can level up. So... Goodbye. And... 12 star points, level 3. Alrighty, let's go with, uh, hmm, let's see, uh, bad points. Maybe I actually should have done FP, but... Nonetheless, let's look at our badges. HP plus... I don't know, I'll just... I'll put it on for now, seeing as how I don't really have anything else to put on, and it'll come in handy. I'm not really a fan of the, uh, plus badges, myself. They're used... Oh, already? I don't really need that. Well, actually, yes, I do. So now I'm at 20 health, which is, which is lovely, and now it looks like we're on the outskirts of the fortress. And we are at the fortress. Alright, let's save. And there's a moat, and creepy music, and foreboding doorways, and... Uh, wow, Mario, what the... Oh, we're in a world of hurt. Mario's here already. I gotta tell the leader. Red Koopa. Yes, run away. Do I look that scary? Oh, oh. Onwards. Oh boy, that's a... That's a big chain and... Water thing and... Koopas and... Taking a nap, and he's guarding the gate, and he got jumped on, and looks like we have a bomb on of sorts. Um, right, so, let's see, I better not touch him, I don't know if he's gonna blow up on me. He jumps, and I missed it. Right, let's, let's tattle. On that bomb -om. This is a bomb bomb. Bomb bombs are pretty temperamental and they get steaming mad when you attack them. Max HP 3, attack power 1, defense power 0. You better not jump on them while they're angry or blow up in your face. In fact, stay away entirely. Attack them from a distance with items like hammers, or you could send in other things like shells. If they attack when angry, they charge and explode. So you better take care of them before they blow. There we go. Okay. Uh, I do have camera throw. Now maybe I should send in Goomba Real to do that. And then I can finish you off with my hammer. Two damage from a distance. And I now have a hundred coins. And soon that number actually will not go up because he's not dropping any coins. Fortress key opens locked door in this fortress. That makes very much sense. Okay. More bomb bombs. Let's get out some paper. Ooh. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Uh, I guess I'll just use hammer though again so I don't get blowed up. Do nothing. Oh, missed it again. So, now I can just take care of you and not have to worry. Because apparently his shell can withstand explosions, which is awesome. Okay, we're running low on FP. Uh oh. Alright. So just hammer, first strike, and then shell toss, and they're gone. And... Do nothing. And take nothing. Nothing, take no damage. 
hammer once again. And then finish you off once again with shell toss. And four star points yet again. Alright, so let's see, this is a big room. This fortress stays cool all the time because it's built entirely of stone. That's interesting. It's very blocky stone and that's neat. What the doors are made out of. Oh, what have we here? He's hiding keys, locking them in little cells. Ah, let's see the great Mario get any farther now. Hi. Mario! You, uh, don't try any... You'll still never find your way through this fortress. Um, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting! See ya! Running is exciting, too. Yes, there will be some fighting. You will get stepped on. And then you will get jumped on. The background is different in this room. So I'll showcase the fact that there are cells in this room. And there you go. So... Oh, whoops. I forgot to get out Cooper. This might not end well. Well, he can just get injured. And it'll be okay once the battle ends. See? It didn't even look like he got scratched. It just blew up in his face. Oh, look at that, he's running out of the cell, and around the back. Okay, um... Hmm, I might be taking some heavy damage here. Yeah, I better get out Cooper before I get hurt. Yeah, nice, okay. Now, let's get some... Oh, I can't do that. Um, power jump, maybe? Let's get this guy in the back here. He's looking cozy back there. And... Shell toss. Get rid of that Koopa. And... Just one last bomb on, which we will take care of. We have shell toss once again. Man, I wish... I wish... I had a shell that could withstand explosions. That's, that is just amazing right there. I wonder what that shell's made of. Mushroom. And... Alright, uh... Ooh, power bounce! Yeah, I'm putting this on. Power bounce. Let's you do a power bounce. Jumps on an enemy continuously until you miss an action command. Well, in theory that is. In practice, however, when you fight, say, like a boss, I believe, um, what would happen is that they would actually cut you off, and uh, I guess they don't want you beating the boss that easy. It's sort of like a way around know what I mean. If you, like, if you were, like, absolutely superb at action command, um, you could do that. But, and I know that. I mean, a long time ago I was playing Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door and we had actually done the, uh, to some friends, we had actually grabbed the, uh, our action replay and we had done the code to get those weird badges, like, they called them debug badges, and, uh, work pretty much like that. Um, yeah. But, I mean, if you try to, uh, I guess I can't go that way. I guess I'll be fighting you, so. 